No welcome back gift basket? No, not after what happened with you last time. I can't even look at our WWE 2K game cover now without having flashbacks. I'm sorry. I was under a lot of pressure and trying to find my way with a new faction, but I've gained some perspective in my time away from WWE. So what do you say we start over? I can consider that, but an I'm sorry gift basket would help your cause. If that's all it takes, then deal. And maybe a skywriting apology message as well. <laughs> Don't push it. Who knows what we're about to hear from this man, but either way, it should be interesting. I just can't believe he's back. Did you ever think you'd see this again? I didn't. See, the last time I was in a WWE ring, I was fired. Everything I had worked for was gone in an instant. I was lost. Without that fight to be the future world champion, the lock, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. I didn't know where to turn next. But then I realized that even though I was knocked down, I wasn't knocked out. There was an entire world of wrestling outside of WWE. New challenges, new stages, new fights. So I set out to conquer that wrestling world, and I did. Leaving WWE no choice but to bring back the man who had been cast aside as a mistake, never to be seen again. But the man you see here tonight is not the same man who was fired. That man was The Lock. And I'm here to tell you the lock is officially dead. From now on, you're gonna get the real thing. The man who went out and fulfilled his potential all around the world. Unfiltered, uncuffed, and unleashed. And now, nothing stands in my way from doing what I already did across the globe. Conquering this last territory by winning the WWE Championship. But now that I'm back, what's really. Here we go. These two have some serious history. We heard Shawn Michaels had a major announcement regarding this man's future. And this could be it. Beautiful speech. Almost even had me believe in you for a second. Not to rain on your comeback parade, but let me hit you with at least a drizzle of truth. You might have managed to win a few matches while you were gone and pulled off some cheap publicity stunts like invading NXT UK and taking their titles for a joyride. But let's get one thing straight. You don't belong here. We tried everything in our power to help you succeed, and it flat out didn't work. So despite everything you just said, I'm not inclined to try again. Well, I'm back. So you don't have a choice, do you? Yeah, about that. You might have maneuvered your way back to WWE, but that doesn't mean I can't make your life a living hell. Now that you're here. So what? You're gonna force me to be the lock again? Nope. But there has been a slight revision to your new contract. Little detail you might want to consider. And that is, if you don't become WWE Champion 
within 58 days from today, which just so happens to coincide with SummerSlam, you will be gone from WWE permanently, forever, or as you said, knocked out. So yeah, good luck with this whole comeback thing. Wow, that's shocking news. You might not want to walk away when I'm talking to you. Didn't work out so well for you last time, did it? Do I need to repeat myself? 58 days. Why wait? Give me a championship match against my old buddy Slade, and we'll get this over with tonight. No chance. 58 days. It's WWE Champion Slade. Slade looks determined as he heads toward the ring. Yeah, determined to prove that a hell of a lot has changed since the former Locke left WWE. Slade may have taken a back seat in the past, but now he's the man on Raw. That's all fine, but as boss Shawn Michaels just said, there wouldn't be a title match tonight, so I'm not sure what Slade is doing out here. If you haven't noticed, things have changed around here since you've been gone. In fact, if anyone's the lock now, it's me. Since unlike you, I actually became WWE Champion. Convenient how that happened when I was gone. Are you saying I'm only champion because you weren't here? <laughs> okay. Let's get this straight. I'm not threatened by you. So if you want to take your shot at my title and try to save your job here in WWE, then I actually agree with you for once. Let's do this right now. Wow, this is actually going to gonna happen? Michaels doesn't look too thrilled. Okay, fine. You got what you wanted. The match is on. We're going to have an impromptu WWE Championship match between two former faction mates right here, right now. I, I don't get this. The championship deadline was set at 58 days. You don't give the man a title match on night one. I agree, Corey. There has to be more to this plan. Nonetheless, here we go. I might need to get my glasses checked to make sure this is actually happening, but Slade and his former Evolution teammate are squaring off right now for the WWE title. It's happening, Michael. The artist, formerly known as Locke, is back. He sure is, and he wants the entire WWE Universe to know that the only name he wants from Shawn Michaels is WWE Champion. Oh, oh. Senton connects. You can see the anguish growing on his face. Yeah, this can't be how he pictured this fight going. Got Buster. And shoulders are down. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Fast press. Fast press. And some effective offense with that one. Off into the pin. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He's still in this. He's heading back to the ring. He fends off the attack. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Sitting, sitting, power down. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Gets the shoulder up. That pin attempt might have been a tad premature. Sean wasn't going to let the title change hands like this. Not with the championship deadline in play. Orton and Braun Breaker from behind. Evolution's taking advantage of the interference from Shawn Michaels. 
Was this all part of evolution in Michael's plan in accepting the match? And Breaker nails the military press power slam. Now Slade's gonna try to steal this. And of course, Shawn Michaels is now helping the referee back in the ring. Slade got him. The champion retains. The challenger never really had a chance against the combination of Evolution and Shawn Michaels. I don't see how he's going to win the championship in the next 58 days with the deck this stacked against time. him like this. My ring, my show. You don't belong here. I do. <laughs> This is just getting worse now. Is this really necessary? It's former WCW superstar Tavish. He's been a mentor to The Rock and played a key role in his resurgence. And now he's playing a key role in his beatdown. This is too much for an aging veteran to overcome. And Braun locks in the recliner. Breaker's gonna force him to watch as his mentor is taken out by Evolution. What are they doing now? Slade runner onto the steel chair. This is not how he expected his big return to go here tonight. Welcome back to WWE, Locke. You've got a long, daunting road ahead of you. I agree, but I don't know about the long part. He's got less than 60 days to take Slade's championship, or he's gone from WWE forever. This is not looking good. Certainly long odds to overcome. Rough first night back. How you doing? I've been better. Wasn't planning on fighting the WWE Champion and his entire faction. Thought maybe we'd ease into things and build up to that. Yeah, same. Well, thanks for trying to help. I had no idea Sean was going to pull that stunt with your contract. What'd he say? 58 days to win the title or you're gone? Yep. Summer slam or bust. Well, I doubt you're going to get another opportunity tonight, so really, it's 57 days. How many actual events is that? 57 days is like eight weeks, with one Raw a week, plus a premium live event, so you might have, what, like nine chances left? Then again, it's not like you're going to get a title match every show. They actually might do everything in their power to never give you another title match at all. Is any of that supposed to make me feel better? I know it's going to be tough, but I've already overcome so much just to get back here. I'll figure out a way to beat this, too. I believe in you. I really do. But this feels different. You think I can't do it? No, I think you're outnumbered. You can't just brute force this on your own like you always do. You're gonna need help to pull it off. I got you, don't I? As you saw tonight, it's pretty much the same as being on your own. You need to lean on someone other than me. You did it in Mexico, now's the time to take it to the next level. They have numbers. So even up to sides. So you want me to join a faction? That didn't work out too well the last time. I wasn't saying you should join a faction. I was saying you should start your own and lead one. You're ready. I guess I don't really have another option, do I? Not unless you want to keep getting beaten up three on one for the next 57 nights and then be gone from here for good. Well, then I better start looking. Clock's ticking. Sounds like you already have Hector's help if you want it, but it still leaves you a man short if you want to even up the sides. You have any suggestions? I know I said you needed to lean on off of people, but I'm willing to reconsider. If you're willing to do me a favor. What are we talking here? 
I had a lot of regrets about how my WCW run ended. One of the biggest was I was supposed to face Goldberg during his legendary undefeated streak. I know I could have been the one to end it, but a match never happened after I quit. So help me get a match against Goldberg, and I'll join your faction. That's kind of weird. I mean, you just got beaten up by Slade and his crew. Shouldn't you want revenge without all this Goldberg stuff? If I'm going to put my body on the line for you, I need this win against Goldberg. Besides, it'll be a massive confidence boost for me to get that monkey off my back. Goldberg is a very large, scary monkey to try to get off your back. It's no guarantee you'll beat him. I've dreamt about it for 25 years, and in my dreams, I beat him every time, and this will be no different. Just make the match happen, okay? I think Goldberg's been training at the PC lately. I'll talk to some people there and see what I can do.
I told you I could do it. The Goldberg monkey is officially off my back. <laughs> it was 25 years late, and in a training match with no cameras rolling or an audience to see it, but still, <laughs> what a feeling! <laughs> I'm happy for you. So, I guess that means you're on board to join my faction now. Oh, hell no. I was never gonna actually join. I'm ancient and just spent everything I could to pull a fast one on Goldberg. Now, I mainly wanted that match for my ego, and of course to show you how you can leverage favors to recruit superstars to join your fight. Like I said before, you can do much better than me. Seriously? I just jumped through so many hoops to make this happen. Well, I hope you're ready to jump through some more, because that's how this is going to work. And it's not like you've been the most friendly, outgoing type in your time here, so it might be a bit of an uphill battle. People like me? Debatable. Anyway, I have a feeling the more restless you get to join your faction, it'll attract even higher profile superstars and legends to help your cause. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. And finally, whenever you got two wrestlers you think make up the best faction to take down Slade and his group, come find me and let me know. Got all that? Yeah, I think so. Good luck, kid. I'm gonna go celebrate my big win, but you should probably get to recruiting. Time's running out.
Hey bro, know you're looking for help, but I'm gonna cut to the chase. You're kind of uptight, and I've already been through that with Randy. No way, bro. Me? Uptight? I'm super cool. So relaxed. We could definitely hang. <clears throat> bro? <laughs> okay, bro. Then show me you can let loose by riding a scooter out to your next match while copying my entrance. Do that, then I'll know you can hang. On second thought, I don't think we're a good fit. I'm going to look elsewhere. Okay, bro. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. So, did you find a couple of blokes have got your back? Not quite. Do I need to remind you about the SummerSlam deadline? You don't have a lot of time to keep messing about. I hear you. I'll line up two guys soon. Hey, bro, you finally ready to show me your... For sure, bro. All... Cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Wait, that's not Riddle. What the heck is going on here? Uh, I don't know, but he's acting like Riddle, Scooter and all. I have no idea why he or anyone for that matter would want to do this. He's actually pretty good on that scooter. Maybe he's been practicing. Is this really the time for goofing off like this? He's got a deadline approaching where he needs to win the championship or he's gone from WWE forever. I think I'd be more focused on that. Or maybe there's more to this we don't know about. Or maybe the stress of the deadline has caused him to lose it. Who knows? He's certainly got Riddle's mannerisms down, Pat. Again, I hate to be the downer, but that's not going to help him win this match, let alone overcome the difficult odds he faces trying to gain Slade's championship before SummerSlam. I just don't get it. Veer Mahan, the so-called lion of WWE, will kick things off here tonight. What's to say about Veer that he isn't going to show you himself? A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. I think he's got it locked in good. I furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, 
vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. Uh, gets put into the barricade. Four. Hangs him across the barricade. A few jabs for good measure, but what's next? He can't defend any offense coming his way. Yeah, every attempt to fight back's being negated. And he gets set back into the ring. Superman punch! Now he's got a chance to best Lavagna. Just wanted to say thanks for the apology gift basket you sent New Day. It really meant a lot. No problem. Sorry all that ever happened. All is forgiven. And now that we're on better terms, I was dismayed to see the precarious situation you found yourself in. Is there anything I or the New Day can do to help? Actually, I am looking to start a faction of my own to help get me out of all this. I know you'll always be a part of New Day, but... Maybe you'd be interested in a dual faction membership? <laughs> I'm intrigued, but we've certainly had our share of ups and downs, mostly downs. The gift basket was nice, but not enough to prove we could work together. Let's team up in a match and see how it goes. Then we'll talk. So is Great. I'll get the faction paperwork started. There's paperwork? Of course not. Just a little faction humor. <laughs> We're gonna have fun. They are ready for a fight. Of all the superstars I'd have picked to team up with the former Intercontinental Champion, Xavier Woods probably would have been the last. Well, rumor has it that the pair have mended their fences since that catastrophic WWE 2K cover shoot. But I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, using a suplex into a cutter. Nicely done. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Not the worst idea going for a pin there, but it's close. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Doomsday right, cannonball. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Referee in position. Two! Made it out at two! Close to putting this one away earlier than expected. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Uh-oh. Hard side kick. Brutal stomp to the body. And followed up by another to the chest. What a counter! These two having an answer for everything. I think something bad is about to happen to their opponent. Down they go. Those two are on such a cohesive shoulders down. This could be it. He keeps his team in the match. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. <laughs> oh, big boot. Uh-oh. 
nicely done. Driven down face first. Second time. 
Thanks for coming. That's gotta be it. Two count. Xavier Woods is pairing pain. Strong dividends with... You can't put a label on talent like this or even a name, apparently. We've seen many faces of Finn Balor since he first arrived in WWE, but he is adamant that his new take-no-prisoners attitude as the Prince is the real Finn Balor. Byron, I know you have thoughts on this change of attitude. Well, Balor claims he wasn't able to be true to himself for a long time in WWE until he became the Prince. Now, I don't know what to think of this more callous Finn, but then again, I can't argue with the results he's produced. The already dangerous Balor has certainly become even more vicious since embracing his Prince persona. We'll see how he approaches this competition tonight. He's taking on a guy that's looking to put him in his place here tonight. This guy's been saying all week how he's going to prove a point in this match tonight. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation, reciprocating the initial reversal. down with the senton. Oh, oh my gosh! What a Cody cutter! Penny predicament. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Two and a half, and if he keeps this up, we'll be out of here sooner than expected. He got whipped into that corner. Knee lift in the corner rocks the jaw. Immense pressure being kept on Balor. Finn Balor's under the gun. Oh, it's gonna happen. Fails to hit the bullseye. Nothing fancy, but very effective. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Up and Proplex. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants... Uh-oh. He gets what he deserves for all that gloating. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming Whoa. at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Two. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker and backbreaker. Turning the tables there. We'll take things 
into the ring. He's dominated the world, and now he's set his sights on WWE.
It doesn't get any more exciting than this, folks. The WWE superstar, once known as The Lock, is taking on Edge in an attempt to recruit him to his side. The former Lock will have his hands full going up against one of the all-time greats when it comes to tables, ladders, and chairs. Edge is one of the all-time greats in any format, Saxton. If I were his opponent, I'd use one of the chairs to sit down and take notes from a living legend. He gets out of the way. Penny predicament, shoulders down. He needs to deal more damage before trying that again. A hurricane runner. Oh, spike DDT. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Nasty right hand. Into Gary to the floor. And Edge is coming under duress. Edge keeps getting cut off at the pass. And what's he looking for here? Of all the toys underneath the ring, he just had to go with the one that ensures splinters. Edge slipping some here. The pain will be with him well after this TLC match is over. Looking for a suplex here. Into a cutter. Nicely done. Some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Held in a perilous position. The table. the table and the body getting well acquainted there. Can only imagine the damage that impact just did. I doubt this will go on for much longer. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. this to the outside now. Ooh, baseball fly. Holy meet the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Into the ring again. Compromised position here. Edge 
Edge on the receiving end. Oh, Edge about to be kicked out permanently. 